One minute. The craziest thing we've ever done. Let's go. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. It's your girl Zombie here and I'm back with another tutorial or rather a review of, can you guess it? Fenty! Yes, Rihanna the queen of reggae and also makeup has dropped her new um, concealer and powder and everything a black girl's dream. Um, so yeah, I'm here to review that. Um, I'm going to attempt to do a full Fenty face. Now, I know she doesn't have some products, but they're coming. Rihanna, you hear our cries and you come through. Okay, come through. Um, so I'm going to do my brows off video. Um, in the meantime, listen to this video or watch this video so you can figure out what you need to create a full Fenty face. Right, B, I'll be right back. Things you'll need to complete a full Fenty face. Let's get started. First, you'll start off with her Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer in Soft Matte. I currently have a mini. Of course, you'll need her Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. I have mine in the color 450. You'll need your new Fenty Concealers. I have four in the shades 410, 420, 495, and 490. So 410 and 420 are going to be used for highlighting, and 495 and 490 are going to be used for contouring. Of course, you'll need um, one or two of her Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powders. I have two colors. Hazelnut will be my all over face and I have banana as my highlighting. I have, just in case, four of her matchsticks. I have caramel and suede as my under eye shades, cinnamon as a highlight, and espresso as a contour. And lastly, I have two of her infamous lip products. I have the first and the original Fenty Glass Bomb in Fenty Glow. And I have her, of course, infamous red lip in Uncensored. Let's get started. All right, guys, I'm back and my brows are better than ever. Um, so let's get started on this Fenty Face Review. So the first thing I'm going to take is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Looks like this. Um, I haven't even opened it yet, so a lot of the products you'll see in here haven't been opened. So let's see how this goes. I think I'm going to take a pump. So I actually don't have oily skin, but this primer really worked well with the foundation and my skin. So it actually didn't even dry me out. So our next is the Pro Filter Foundation. Now I already have this and I've used it before and I love it. It you're supposed to shake this real well. Let's see how this goes. Um, I like this foundation. Now, one of the things that I feel like I might get a lot of flack for is the fact that I am really red. Like I've really red undertones. Um, so my foundation sometimes tends to be, it looks darker than the rest of my skin, like really dark, but it really isn't. It really matches my skin tone the way it's supposed to be. So I want no judgment. And if you guys have any questions or concerns about like how to find your match, I can try to make a video about that. Just let me know in the comments below, but I'm going to go ahead and put this on my face and I'll do a swatch and all that extra stuff. So one second. So yeah, um, so this is the Fenty foundation. Again, my color is 450, about like two or three pumps. So that's the color. Oh, it's really runny. And I'm going to dot this all over my face. Um, and then I didn't buy any of her brushes because I really didn't see a need. I'm kind of waiting for her to drop a full line before I just start investing here and there in different foundations. So I'm going to take this Sonia Kashuk uh, Beauty Sponge. It's really huge. Um, this is what one of the little ones looks like, like dry and wet. Make sure you take your beauty sponge and you make it nice and wet. And then I'm going to take some MAC Fix Plus 
I'm going to spray the butt of my blender and this helps me just like move things around and then you start blending. Now before y'all clock me on this, it looks really dark and I am very much aware of that. Um, but I just wanted to come here and say that foundations are really hard and I would rather be darker than lighter. Now, I've gone to Sephora and they've tried to match me and I get consistent flashback with their matching machine. Um, I'm going to try back, go back to Sephora and figure out if there's a lighter shade that maybe out of the 50 she came out with might work. Um, but you'll see like later on it works, but in person it looks just a tad bit darker than what it actually is. So just keep watching and see what happens. Um, now back to the video. Alright, so my foundation is on. Now, I love a full coverage beat, but... I don't like over layering my foundations on anybody that I do makeup on or even myself. I don't over layer. I don't think it's necessary. So I just like a one layer kind of thing. Um, because once you start adding on like your concealers and your powders, it becomes a lot. Um, so this foundation is pretty medium coverage. It doesn't cover up my birthmark, which is kind of like my telltale sign if something is like extremely full coverage is if this is gone, then I know I'm about to be full coverage. Um, but it's all good. I kind of like this. This is good for like, you know, those light beats, but also nighttime beats because those are important. Um, so the next step in my process of doing my face are concealer. Now, I love this part. If anybody knows me, I love putting on concealer. Sometimes I'll put too much. Like if you look at my last video, I put a little bit too much, but it's all good. I'm not going to do as much. Um, so I have four of her Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealers. I have the color 410. 420, 490, and 495. So 410 and 420 are my highlight shades, and then 490 and 495 are my contour shades. Now, the claims about these are that it's a creamy, long wear, crease proof concealer that delivers light as air, medium to full coverage, groundbreaking. Oh, medium to full coverage. Um, it's a groundbreaking, and it's also in the color of 50 shades. So, if you have trouble trying to find which is your contour shade or which is your foundation shade or your concealer shade, um, she says the easiest way is to go to your foundation shade and pick up 450. Now, I could have picked up 450, but I don't, I don't, my skin really isn't too bad when it comes to blemishes. Like, I don't have hyperpigmentation. I don't really have blemishes. I'm okay with my birthmark showing through because that's part of me. Um, so I didn't pick up for my uh, foundation shade which is 450 which is just a tad bit lighter than your foundation shade but not necessary um, so yeah now I've watched a couple of Fenty reviews on this and a lot of people say that a little goes a long way so I'm going to follow that so just for reference this is my foundation shade all right, so that's foundation. That's the Pro Filter Foundation in 450. Here is 450 as a highlight shade, which isn't too bad. I actually really like that. These are really thick, thick and creamy, like really creamy. So that's 410. So here is 420. Ooh, which is a little bit more of a natural beat. So I have also her matchsticks, which you saw in the beginning of my video. This is caramel, which I will swatch next to the lighter color, which is that. And then this is suede, which I'll swatch next to the darker side. There you go. So right here we have caramel. This is 410. This is 420. And then this is suede hmm i wonder let's do a comparison so i'm going to take suede which is this color on this side and then i am going to take 420 which is this one and swatch that on this side and then we're going to blend these out and see how they go who knew this was going to be a comparison kind of like the idea all right so uh with these you kind of need to warm them up just a little bit um, on your hand and then I go in a T and then bring it down and these are 
pretty like matte and it kind of looks like if you look a little closer that you can see my pores but um and the first time I use this I like what is happening on my skin that's weird um but I actually realize I'll take a little bit on my forehead and some on the side and then my nose it's my nose I'll mix the two why not um that once I started blending it it worked a whole lot easier so again spraying my beauty blender And now I'm going to take 420 on the left side of my face. Now here guys, I'm doing the same thing as I did with the matchstick. So I'm putting a little bit under my forehead, under my eye, a little bit on my chin. I'm turning my beauty blender and spraying it with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and just blending that into the skin. And then this is my face. Now it says it's creaseless. Um, I'm kind of believing that because this matchstick on the other side is giving me a little tough time. But other than that, it looks good. Next on my face is we're going to contour. And I'm going to take Espresso, which is one of the darker shades. Do the matchstick right there. And I love these. It's, a little, it's dark, but it works for my skin tone. 490 swatch that on the back of my hand there's 490 nice and chocolatey um gives me a lot of joy on the inside so there's 490 and this is 495 and that's the matchstick and espresso now, i think i'm going to take 495 on this side and then i'll take the matchstick on this side so let's start with the matchstick and espresso um, a little trick, you just like your cheek in, but I kind of know where my face is. Stop right there, and I don't go here, but I will go um, a little bit on the nose. And a little bit into my uh, eyeball socket, just for a little contour. And again, take in my sponge, and I'm going to spray it, and then go in. All right guys, so here I am blending out my contour. Um, the cheek is going to go up towards the face. I use the back of the beauty blender to blend a little bit, um, blend it into your hairline and a little bit onto your forehead. And that's it, super easy. So, 495. And I'm gonna take a little, just like I did. Right there. And then a little bit of taps and uh, the side of my nose so guys this is where i realized i made a mistake it's a lot the concealer is super creamy so a little goes a long way you just saw me take a little bit of, con of my foundation and just put it underneath the contour to smooth it out but other than that it was super creamy and blended out really fast i have two of her uh, setting powders. So this is her Instant Retouch Setting Powder. Now here's the thing, when I do my makeup, I normally use um, Laura Mercier's Translucent Deep Powder, and this is this color to set underneath my eyes, right? Now I kind of stopped using banana when I found this out. Um, just like, you know, the Sasha Buttercup. I still have them. I can use them if I want to, but it's not like, it's not my everyday kind of thing. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I think I'm going to use this to set underneath my eyes the same way I'd use the Laura Mercier one. And you can see there's a very obvious difference. And then I'm going to use the Fenty color in hazelnut all over my face um, with a large fluffy brush. So we'll see. So let's open this up. And this is cute. You can see it has, oh, you can't really see it. There it goes. You see it has Fenty Beauty. That's where the sift is. I like that. I wish it came with like a stopper. 
Now guys, I know they come with stoppers. Just don't throw out your boxes immediately. Look in the front, there's a little stopper right there hiding. Gosh, I thought I almost threw mine out and I almost cried, but I found them. Because that's one of my things with these powders is they don't come with stoppers. And you end up with all this extra foundation or powder all over your stuff and you can't really help it. So, not, so let's see if I can swatch this for you guys. Wow, it's really soft. So this is banana. And granted, I put a whole bunch on my hand. So this color next to banana, that might be a little light for me. And I'm going to swatch that right there. So you can kind of see. So this is banana. That's hazelnut, and this is Laura Mercier Translucent Deep. Let me take banana onto my wet beauty sponge. Just like that. Grab off any excess on the back of my hand. And, and I also don't bake. I just kind of just like press the powder into my skin. And on my eyelid, because I have product there. And there we go. Wow, that is seamless. Wow, you can tell the difference. Now remember, I had the matchstick on this side, right, in suede, and then this was the actual Pro Filter um, concealer in. 420 yes look at me being smart and that you can tell the difference immediately like look how matte that is but it's still glowing you know so guys you'll see me set the other side of my face um so underneath my eye i put a little too much on one side so you'll see me balance it with putting more on the other side i'm gonna set my smile lines because i laugh and talk a lot the middle of my forehead and the center of my nose i really like this powder it gave me a really beautiful finish and it wasn't too drying which i was surprised about all right now let's set all over the face i need a nice big fluffy brush let's see if i got one yep right here and i'm going to take hazelnut and set the face so i use the powder all over my face in the shade hazelnut and i really like this it smells really nice too um, and it calmed down the over highlighting that I had underneath my eyes. Now, I normally don't set with powder, but I thought, why not? So that is it for the Fenty face. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face off camera. Um, I'll come back and put my lips on and then I'll do a wear test and see how well this goes. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back with a full face. So I used the Fenty Beauty um, Moroccan Spice Palette. I just used these two colors, or three colors. Ooh, I want to break that. I used these two colors. So that is Evil, Evil Genie and Fez Up, which is right there. And then I used Mirage, which is this pretty shade um, in the inner corner um two of my eyes so and then i just set and set my face with some mac fix plus and then my mascara is the big colossal shot um by maybelline this gave me lashes that look like falsies which is why i love this um so now i'm on my last step so i have to do lips i could do a red but i think i'm gonna keep it a little bit more like not basic but just more muted for today um so i'm gonna take some fancy balm and i have a big lips so it takes a little bit more to go through this and that is a full fenty face so let me come up nice and close my mascara a little bit ran but that's okay um for you to take a look at my Fenty face. So remember, I had the matchsticks on this side and the new concealers that she has on this side. So it's pretty similar. I don't think you'll really be able to take, um, be able to see the difference. 
Um, let me reduce the brightness just a little bit so you can see I'm nice and glowy. My highlight is MAC um, and Gold Deposit. Um, but yeah, let me... Um, really cute I actually really like this um so I'm gonna do a wear test it's currently 511 so I'm gonna give it five or six hours we'll see how that goes um you'll see me in the nighttime I'll insert a couple pictures of some flash test here and here um and I'll see you guys in a couple hours this should be good I'm excited mm. all right guys welcome back um or rather what's up um, so this is my final Fenty review. So I've been wearing this foundation for about seven hours, am I counting right? Um, I finished my face at 511 and now it is 1144, almost 12. It's maybe like six, six and a half hours. Um, and this is what my face is looking like. So overall, I think that I really like the products. My foundation is a tad bit too dark for me right now. Um, but you know, if I had gone a lot brighter with my like concealer, um, I think it would have balanced out. I am a little bit oily, which is weird for me. Like I'm, I'm like shiny and I don't usually get shiny. So I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna take the um, hazelnut powder from the Fenty and I'm gonna take the same brush I put it on with tap off all the excess and I'm just gonna re mattify my face just do a little tappy tap and yeah you can see that it's like My face is back to where it started. Um, yeah, that looks actually a lot better, which is weird. I usually don't get shiny, but I'm okay with that, you know? All right, so let's see. What did I review? I reviewed the, uh, the primer, which I liked it. It's very hydrating. It leaves my skin nice and luscious, which I really appreciate. Um, next, I have the foundation, which I have already and I've used before. It goes a little, goes a long way. Um, and I really like that also. It's a tad bit too dark, but I'm scared to go lighter because when I go lighter, I get a lot of flashback, but we'll see. Um, I'll maybe go down in the comments and like post and go get some, um, samples of some foundations from Sephora to see if that'll work a little bit better. Now, um, the next thing is the concealer. Okay. So it said it's creaseless. So looking under my eyes, um, I do have a little bit of creasing um but if you remember i decided to test to see if the match stick versus the actual concealer and the l right side of my face look at see these letters the right side of my face had the match stick which the match stick creased a little bit under my eye you can kind of see that a little bit like right around here um and then the left side of my face had the concealer so you can see a little bit of creasing there also. To be honest, um, both of them are pretty equal, but I think the matchstick, because it was a little bit drier, had um, a little bit more creasing. So it's not too bad. The coverage is really nice. Um, doesn't leave me looking too crazy. The next thing that I reviewed were the powders. Um, I love these. To be honest, I didn't even think I would like banana because I don't use light shades like this anymore. I cut them out a long time ago. But considering that it gave me the highlight that I needed, I I really like it. I really like it. And also for an all over face foundation, like face powder, hazelnut is beautiful. Um, you can see I just used it while I was on screen and my face looks flawless. I really like, you know, re-putting on 
the powder. I just have, I'm just having fun at this point because, you know, I'm also tired. Um, I didn't go anywhere. I was in my apartment. I laid around a little bit. I ate, which is why the gloss bomb's no longer on there, but I still love it regardless. I'm really curious to see what it would look like if I actually went out out. Um, I'll update you in the description box to be like, I used it on this day and this is what happens kind of thing. Maybe on like a natural beat day. The powder is worth it. The concealer is worth it. It's nice and thick. It's full coverage. It can also be medium. You can also lighten it up a little bit if you want to. Um, the matchsticks are worth the buy. I like them as well. Um, the only thing with the concealers is a watch out, especially if you're using one for a contour shade because it is something that a little goes a long way. The reviews were correct. And yeah, that's it. Thank you again for coming to my channel. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Again, my button. Always this button. I gotta find a better way to do this. Oh, my God.